Hey guys, it's Shocker, and I got a monotype battle for you. It's against Van Off the Walls. He's a good friend of mine, and the song will be His Rule by Crush40. So, he leads with Crobat, and I lead with Uxie, and he's gonna hypnosis me. And I'm gonna be asleep. He's gonna go for Super Fang, and I'm like, oh my god. But I get the first turn wake up, and I'm like, Thunder Wave! Yeah, so I, he's either poison or flying, and I'm like, hmm. So I can just go and set up my stealth rocks, and he goes for U-turn, which my UC's gonna take semi-decent. And he's gonna go out into Garen, his Gengar, and I'm like, bollocks. Because that's going to one-shot my UC, and I know he's... Monotype poison now, so I'm like, okay, Van Off the Walls is really good at Monotype, so I'm in for quite a good fight. So I go into my Life Orb Azelf named Terra, and he goes into Grapes, which is obviously going to take the Psychic like a pro, but I'm not going to, I've seen what this, uh, I forget the name of that now, can do. So I just go, what the fuck, boom, and take it down. So, I go in, out into Sunkissed. My, uh, Espeon, he goes down to outcast his Rose Raid, and I'm just gonna Psychic, boosted by Life Orb, for the kill, for the KO. So he goes back out of Garen, and I'm thinking, okay, Speed Tide, Speed Tide, Speed Tide, Speed Tide, nope! Shadow Ball, and there goes my Espeon, I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, okay, Gengar, this is gonna be problems. So I got my Mana Gross named Punisher. And I should have went for agility because that Shadow Ball is going to be like a three hit KO on me. But I just go straight for the T-Punch and I probably should have went for the Meteor Mash. Because T-Punch doesn't take him down. He's going to switch and go on to Dino King. Which is going to outspeed and I'll obviously outspeed and take down my Metagross with an Earthquake. And I'm like, you know, sad face because I'm like, crap. So, I go into Red Dragon now, my Latias. And he goes for Sucker Punch, because I'm going to go set up the Reflect. And then I'm going to go set for Calm Mind. While he goes for a Super Fang and misses. So I'm like, alright, Dragon Pulse. Because I took Psychic off and put Recover on it. And that Dragon Pulse is obviously going to one-hit KO that thing after it boosted plus one special attack. So he's going to go for Toxic, and I'm like, mm, bollocks. Because I'm just going to go for a Dragon Pulse. Which is going to do a semi-decent amount to Tentacruel, considering Tentacruels can be special defense beast. And he's going to outspeed me. I'm like, oh my god. And, uh, well, it's because I don't have max 252 speed EVs on this. And I break through the confusion. I don't break through the confusion, but I don't confuse I don't confuse damage myself. I go for the Dragon Pulse, and I take down the Tentacruel. Wow, that was quite a mouthful. So... He goes back out into Pepto Bismol, which is gonna take Stealth Rock damage, and I break, and I do get Confusion damage this time. And he goes for the Super Fang, and I'm like, I could go for Recover, but I'm Toxic right now, and I'm going to lose quite a bit of HP from the Poison damage. So I just go straight for the Dragon Pulse, and take down that Crobat, and I get a crit, and I'm pretty sure the crit didn't matter. So, after toxic damage, he's down to his last Pokemon, his Gengar, named Garen, which is going to live from the Stealth Rock damage, and that's obviously going to kill Latias. So I'm like, alright, Crescent, and I'm like, crap, because I brought the wrong Cressilia, I meant to bring in Crescent too. And I'm like, please let me live, please let me live, please let me live, please let me live, and I live, and I'm like, yes! So I psychic for the kill. So, good game, Van Off the Walls, like, comment, subscribe, make sure you guys go check out his YouTube channel, sub to him. And, um, check out T-Flare League and Pokemon Wi-Fi League. Peace, guys. Leave you with the rest of the song.